Hello pilots and welcome back to Season 7 of Flight Academy brought to you by Out of Art Gaming. As always, my name is Phil and today we have Group Game 3 of Group 1. Uh, I return back to the table to take on Wes uh, with his Darn Jedi and see who is the best Force user out of these two ships. But continuing to join me for some Flight Academy action, we have... Uh, hi guys, it's Ben. Hey Ben, welcome back. We've seen two really good games. Let's hope that we have another fantastic game for the third one, with both of these ships having quite similar abilities. Um, but let's quickly run down what we have. So on the left, we've got myself with the Grand Inquisitor. I have Instinctive Aim, Predictive Shot, Markmanship, fire control and proton rockets on there so hoping to get one big juicy hit into that jedi and uh what's wes got for us today uh so wes is running adi gallia with marksmanship r4p17 droid and calibrated laser targeting configuration absolutely love it again I said it last time, I love the Delta 7s and I need to get them back out on the board at some point. Uh, but this is going to be quite an interesting one because Adigalia and the Grand Inquisitor have similar abilities. Very so, similar stat lines as well. Very similar stat lines. Both got two force, both got four health. The dials aren't too dissimilar. The Inquisitors is slightly better. Um, it's going to come down to positioning. Both want the bullseye for different reasons. Both have marksmanship. Wes has the calibrated laser targeting, which he wants to get in there. I've got those profits. I really want to throw at Wes because that could be absolutely brutal. So I think we're just reading each other's abilities there to try and remember what we have so obviously I can so while I defend at range 1 I can spend a force to prevent the range 1 bonus and whilst I attack at range 2 to 3 I can spend one to give myself the range bonus uh, whereas Adigalia can stop the range 1 bonus um and also stop the stop the range three defense bonus as well. It's a really aggressive move from Wes here. He's not messing around. No. Wants to get as much use in his twenty minutes as possible. I mean, it was a great move. As soon as I saw him do it, I was just like, so "That set him up nicely for a two sloop next turn." And it's put me in a pretty awful position yeah. because you're going to need to hard hard one out of there yeah i mean i haven't to be honest i haven't taken the red focus there so i do have the whole dial available and i do evade which is good uh so we're just going to swap the dice over because we have the same stat line so let's see if I can sneak one through. Wes has obviously already spent a force, so nope. We shall re-rack and come back at it. But as I say, I've got a fairly nice position here. I have my full dial available to me. So that could be helpful. I'm pretty sure I could fit a two sloop to the left or right in there. Go on for it. Well, sorry, two Talon roll, not Sloop. That's the uh, Delta 7's brick. But let's see what whether Wes just goes for the That's K-turn. It's a nice line for a bullseye. Yeah. Especially well, if I Wes... think Addy, if he does two Sloop, well, probably go slightly under that line oh no nope that's right into in the bullseye right in it forcing 
forcing Wes to spend R4P17 to move out of there. Because he does not want to stay in that line. But we are... We've now got the range one, no bullseye, but... I actually kind of favour that position for myself better, because I've got a better line than Wes has now. He's got... He kind of needs to hope that I get initiative next turn, otherwise he does not have a lot of space to move into. And he's got a uh, target lock though, so it's going to be a nasty shot onto you. Yeah. And so that's, this... a, that's a no range one, thank you very much. Ooh. Tar Just target two lock, dice. yeah. Target lock is going to be... This is where both these ships can fall down a little bit. Only having two native dice... Do I spend the force? I just don't think I should. I mean, Addy's got, Addy, got no defensive mods apart from a force. Yeah. I Which think by that's a evade resort. Yeah. yeah. So I, mean, I could have spent the force to put have two through and potentially make Wes have had to spend a force to evade, but glad I didn't because he didn't get anything there. Now I've spent a force to evade. Range one, no thank you. And let's see. Again, has that target lock? Gonna need to spend that time. Reroll both and then four starve yourself, or? Mm, I don't know if it's worth to save the four, save the target lock here. He's going aggressive, so he's spending a force. Is he going to re-roll the other one? Not spending the force. Spending the target lock on all of on just that one. Getting the hit. It's Ooh. still a tricky one. Had to work for that. Yeah. And oh, it didn't no. work out. Addy Gallio is forced out as well now. Forced yeah. I'd have been tempted to. Uh, I mean, it's tricky in, in that condition. I'd have been tempted to save the target lock before. Yeah. You know, you've yeah. got your full three dice on the go. I, well, I, I, see, I see the temptation to spend it there. Yeah. See if you can get it through, but not ideal. So I do have the initiative. And those of you that are eagle eyed will probably see that you can actually see what, what I am putting into my dial as we're going between the rounds. But just taking this opportunity, disengage, get that target lock, come back around. Yeah, we're going to see the same. Get a target lock. Oh, you, you need to, right? Oh, the three is blue. Is blue? Yeah. Yeah. Get your target lock back. I mean, there's no reason not to. Unless he wants to line up a better angle to come back in. I mean, what are you thinking? Boost round? Mm. Or barrel roll to the left and then sloop back in? No, target lock. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's right call, I think. Yeah. Because the, the, the next turn, I mean, you you, you could two sloop and then boost back in, back, back in where you came from. But then Wes has also got to not try and figure out which way I'm going. Am I going to the left? Am I going to the right? I'm going over to the... I'm going ship right with a two sloop. Far enough away from that obstacle to give me quite enough manoeuvrability either way. Now what does Wes... What is Wes doing? Is he just hard turning in or... Have a look. Yep, hard turning through. Hmm. No, good. Uh, you didn't got all the force left. Oh. 
I mean, he's got the lock, so he could he could spend it for fine tune to boost in to get a bit closer. But I mean, I'd be tempted to barrel best... roll right and stay out of arc for that shot. Yeah, saying that, I think that was just a regular boost there. So I mean, it's got the total lock, so yeah. Of I uh, really wanted to see if I can get some damage in here. Oh, that's disappointing. Ooh. I feel like it's going to be Ooh. tricky with just two dice. Get oh, going full aggression. I think it's in. Oh, fire control there as well. Okay. Does Wes spend the force to. Yeah, spend all you got it. Yeah, he did. So we are both force staffed right now. No force for either of us. Which, this is obviously going to favour Wes. Does he... Oh. He has, sorry, he has decided to spend the target lock. There we go. There we go. No, no damage. No damage each. Was it? Where's, where's okay. in a great, great position now? Because <laughs> I think if he does a 4K, I don't even know if a 5K would fit. I don't think the 5 would fit. The 5 would be very a four, tricky. A 4K definitely would be very strong, especially if you're moving second, because then you can 4K and then. R4P yeah. 17 to move either left barrel, either left or right. Light up your bullseye. Well, I've got the initiative, so I'll have to wait a little bit longer to see what Wes actually does. Um, I don't think I should have done that because I'm stressed. Yeah. Double stress. How did I miss that? Yeah, suddenly, the Inquisitor's got some sneaky moves. No, and I... So, all I can say is, I'm sorry, Wes. It would appear I did a move that I should not have been able to do. I don't know how I didn't see that stress on there. I mean, I've done it before. Uh, it is yeah. something that can... It, it, it's easy to sort of look at this and go, how have you not seen that? But uh, it, it yeah. is something that you can easily miss. I remember I did it uh, when I was playing a tournament. And it was, I think it was a, uh, in fact, it might have been Flight Academy um, with the Mandalorian ship against Andy. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, yes, I, did, didn't you? Yeah, and I accidentally dialed in a red and I was already stressed, completely missed the stress. Yeah, and I do kind of, that. Kind of ruined me the rest of the game for doing that. Yeah. Um, I mean, the only thing I was proton rockets coming in and I mean the only thing I can say is obviously whilst doing this I was obviously doing the overlay and recording all at the same time so this just goes to show guys pay attention to the game that you're playing not all the other fun stuff around the outside so apologies Wes especially because that's actually quite good that's I mean that's guaranteed one going through So let's see. Oh. I now feel quite bad. Oh, that's not the dice you want. He has to spend either the focus or I'd spend the force. It's just one. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, hit, so that's... crit, crit. Oh. So we're down to one. This is going to be very important on the crits. A fuel leak, direct hit, or hull breach. A fuel leak or direct hit would be horrendous. That's weapons failure. Yeah, it looks like weapons failure. Oof. Uh, structural damage. That one, sorry. And then the final one is a stunned pilot. So, it would have been a lot worse there. 
could have been a lot worse. But Wes does get the reprisal shot through now. And he does again. He's got bullseye. Range one. I have no force to stop the range one. So he's got three dice with the focus, marksmanship, and he's got the focus down there as well. I mean, if he rolls really well, he could one-shot you. Yeah. It is possible. I mean, it's still possible, to be honest. He's going to obviously turn those two with the focus and then turn it up to a crit. So if I blank out, and that's a direct hit, that's not a blank out. No, just the one shield. Just the one shield. And with... 40 seconds to go both ships are stressed I mean I'm definitely stressed right I haven't I'm not gonna miss it this time am I uh, both ships are stressed I mean I've just got to get away really there's no way I'm gonna get un unless we both go the same direction I don't think I'm gonna get a shot on Wes Let's see. So I'm just booking it down there, getting out of the way. Getting rid of the title, not putting the title on. I definitely see I'm stressed this time. And where's just doing the four forward. And that's going to be game there. I feel. So yeah. That, I feel a bit bad on that one because I shouldn't have done that to Talon. Again, these things do get missed, especially when you're playing again quite quickly. So, apologies to Wes, but all in all, some really good solid KG flying between the both of us there. And how no damage was taken until those la that last round, I do not know. Because we had some good shots on each other. Yeah, the force was certainly used a lot there. Absolutely. But um, yeah, a win for me. So that is at the halfway point of group one, each player has a win apiece. Um, we'll pop the table up so you can see how we're going. So each player gets three points for a win. And if they take a ship out, they get an additional point. But we are going to be re racking and facing off against each other again to see who is going to take those top two spots. But in the meantime, Ben. Thank you very much for joining us for that. Yeah, no worries. Pleasure as always. And next week, guys, we are actually going to see Ben in action with Group 2, see how their first three games go. Um, but in the meantime, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time.